uh, one of them. This one has um, Altai 500. Altai 500 and this one had Altai 1500. Hello and welcome to the Scent Explorer. So in today's video, we are going to review two rose oils from Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. So uh, if you know that there is a rose, rose oil from Taif Valley, which is called Al Taif on uh, the website of uh, Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. So there are actually three uh, different varieties of uh, Al Taif on um, Abdul Samad Al Qureshi website. One is Al Taif 500, uh, second is Al Taif 1500, and the third one is uh, Excellent Al Taif Rose, something like that. So. Uh, I have acquired a uh, little bit of samples from one of my friend, uh, almost one gram. I have used most of it uh, in different um, others. I have mixed them into the, those. So uh, today we are going to com compare Altaif Rose 500 with Altaif Rose 1500 and what are the differences I am going to share with you. A lot of people when they buy these uh, rose oils, they don't know. Um, on what criteria they are going to buy these. So I'm going to share with you. So I have these two bottles. These are not uh, the bottles from Abdul Samad Al Qureshi, but uh, one of them, this one has um, Altai 500, Altai 500, and this one had Altai 1500. So 1500, I have mixed almost all of it into some of my others, different other blends. So I'm going to share with you what are the differences. Uh, sh should you buy 500, Altai 500 or 1500? So let's start with Altai 500. So uh, if you are, uh, if you don't like too much punchy kind of um, florals or roses, then this is for you. Uh, I have just opened the bottle and the smell is coming. This is very delightful, very delicate, kind of soft rosy smell very delicate very soft um, rose smell uh, it is not very concentrated in a concentrated form so if you want to use it on yourself on your body uh, on your neck i think this is the best rose if you like rose smell this is just like when you are smelling a rose uh, or maybe four or five roses up close I think if you uh, compare it with uh, smelling a rose, it is like one or two points a bit more uh, intense, but it is bearable. If you apply it on your neck, people are going to enjoy it. So this is Altaif Rose 500. Soft, rounded um, rose uh, with a very delicate kind of rosy smell. So this is Altaif 500. Now, uh, if we compare it with the Altaif uh, 1500, let me just sniff it over here. I have one or two drops left. Okay, so uh, Altaif 1500 is a bit, um, you can say tangy. Uh, it has some soreness kind of, uh, like you can say the soreness if you have seen the uh, smell or the uh, soreness of a uh, lemon or the you can say the outer surface of the lemon the smell you get a little bit tangier smell or the orange outer surface the smell of the orange it has some kind of uh, tangier smell or uh, you can say soreness in it so it is it is more concentrated more sore not very soft it is punchy it is going to uh, get a bit spiky rose and um, uh, it is kind of tangy rose so it is not soft it is not rounded uh, it is a bit uh, on your face kind of rose I think it is more concentrated almost I think it is pure form of uh, rose oil so this one is better suited if you want to mix it into more others or your blends or something like that it is not good for i don't think uh, uh, if you apply it personally on yourself i'm not sure but i didn't dare to put it on myself 
maybe you can easily blend it into an oud oil uh, or a sandal masoor sandal oil if you have this is perfect for that kind of blends so uh, here is my comparison about altai rose 1500 and altai rose 500 both of these i have so 500 is for people like me i don't like too much punchy kind of florals or very high pitched florals i like soft rounded florals so altai rose 500 is for those and if you uh, want to mix it into any other uh, blend or other or if you like that much uh, powerful kind of rosy smell or very tangy kind of rose then I think uh, Altai 1500 is for you. So that is my review about Altai 500 and 1500 about Abdul Samad Al Qureshi uh, oils. Uh, if you like this video make sure you subscribe and uh, click on the like and, and uh, make sure you share it with others. Uh, we will meet in another video with another scent. Uh, now I'm going to be signing off. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.